video you all. In this video we're going to be going over functions in Python. In the last video we went over making a multiple choice program in which we printed a question and then we prompted user for input in order to guess the answer to that question. So now we're going to be going over what a function is. What exactly is a function in Python? It is basically a name section of code or a block of code that runs a certain task in Python. And, uh, and the way that a function works in Python is that we can define a function for ourselves that runs a certain or particular task and after we define that function we can call it in order to run it in the terminal. So I'm going to be first demonstrating how, how a function works in Python through code. So uh, I'm going to be making a function which is uh, made to simply print out hello world. So the way that we're going to do this is that we have first have def which basically means define so we can define a function for ourselves and we basically have def uh, and give a space and then the name of the function. So in this case, the name of the function that I want is hello world, which is in which the purpose of this function is to print out hello world. So we have def hello world, which is the name of the function here. And, it, and the way we, we need to uh, show this is that we have def and then hello world. And we need to make sure that we have open and closed parentheses. I'm going to explain why we what the point of these parentheses is after demonstrating this function. So we have def hello world and open and close parentheses. And then we give a new line of code and this indentation is already given to us. And basically what this indentation means is that whatever is in this indentation is going to be defined in this function. So if I had this for example print hello world in this indentation because the purpose of the function is to print out hello world so we're simply printing out hello world and the purpose of this indentation means that whatever is here is part of this function. And now if we try to run this, nothing is going to happen since in order to run this, I actually run this function in the terminal, we need to call it. And in order to call this function, we could just simply give a new line of code and call the function by its name. So we need to make sure that we're not in this indentation because whatever is in this indentation is going to be defined in this function. So in order to call this function and run it, actually run it in the terminal, we simply just give the name of the function. So we have def hello world. Hello world is the name being the name of this function. We have hello world. And we need to make sure to also include the open and close parentheses. And now it's going to actually run hello world. Because in order to run in the terminal, we needed to, to call the name of this function. And the, and the purpose of this function was simply to print out hello world. So now that we understand how uh, a function works in which we were able to define a function to perform a certain task and call it to run inside a terminal, I'm going to first I'm going to explain now uh, what what is the point of what the point of these parentheses is. So the point of these parentheses is that inside these parentheses we can include something called arguments or parameters. And what both of them basically mean is that we can uh, pass in information inside a function. And basically, the function is going to take in that information and run it, and run a certain, uh, run a certain information. So, for example, we can have hello and then name, for example. So we can pass in an argument, for example, name. And what this parameter is going to do is that this function is going to take in this parameter's information, and we need to make sure that we have this parameter uh, defined uh, included in the function itself in order to understand how this works. So we can pass in the information in the defined function itself. So we have def hello world and first name as a parameter and we do make sure that we include first name in the function itself so that this function can take in uh, whatever is in the parentheses as an argument and run it. So we, we, for example, we can have first name, for example, as a parameter and we can have hello plus first name. And remember how concatenating strings work. We have hello in these parentheses, uh, I mean quotation marks. And in order to concatenate two strings together, we have uh, this certain string in uh, quotation marks. And then we have this plus indicating that we're joining these two strings together. So we're joining this hello and we're joining this first name parameter. And now if we try to run this, it's going to give us an error message saying missing one required positional argument. Now, when we're calling this function, we need to also make sure that we uh, include the parameter when we're trying to call it. So, uh, so since we have a first name as a parameter, we need to also include first name parameter inside uh, this parentheses when we're calling that function. So, for example, we have hello world and then uh, and then parentheses close parentheses 
in quotation marks, for example, I can say world. And now if I try to run it, it's going to print out hello world. And that's what how we want it to work. But if I give a different string in this parentheses, so for example, I can give an example like Arnesh. Uh, and if I try to run this, it's going to print out uh, hello Arnesh. So that's how uh, passing in arguments work in a function. When we're trying to call a function, we can uh, give the name of the function and then open and close parentheses. And in these parentheses, we can pass a certain argument. And what this argument is going to do is it's going to go back to the defined function with this first name. Since this uh, function is supposed to take in one argument or parameter or one value, and then uh, it's going to uh, give the first name as an argument. And it's going to print out hello plus that first name. And basically, we have first name here in the parentheses, and we have first name here. So basically, this Arnesh is going to be put into this parentheses, and it's going to substitute first name for the whatever argument we passed in. And so that's basically how functions work in Python. And if you can define a function for our own, and we can set parameters for ourselves as well, or arguments that in which we can pass in values to the function, and that function can run a certain task that we want to set. In this case, we printed hello world, and then we also had it hello plus first name, in which this first name is a parameter. So now that we went over functions in this video, we're going to be going over dictionaries in the next video.